Hello. Here we're going to build the sequence from an icosahedron through some stellations and some added tetrahedra to a pentagonal dodecahedron, more stellations, and added tetrahedron, and then the icosahedra. So the first stage is the icosahedron itself. And then we're going to add a star point tetrahedron to each face. So there will be 20 star point tetrahedra. And I've just put one face on, but as you can see, this is um, 1.618 to 1 in ratio from this edge to this edge. Anyway. Now we have the great stellated icosahedron. Now we will fill the valley with what I've been calling um, four P modules. And now I would like to start calling them M tetrahedra because it's easier as we usually use them in clumps like that. So now here's that tetrahedron filling in the valley. And now we have what we're calling the icosa socket. It fits 12 icosahedrons. It's also known as the squashed dodecahedron or the excavated dodecahedron, but I guess technically that's not the proper term, the excavation. So then we can fill in the five, or I mean the 12 icosa cap valleys with icosa caps the 12 valleys and then we'll have a regular pentagonal dodecahedron next we will add a pentagonal based pyramid to all 12 faces of the pentagonal dodecahedron and it looks almost kind of like a dunce cap in a way Anyway, that should be enough for our process here. Now we have the small stellated dodecahedron with valleys, and we will fill in that valley with a tetrahedron that I would call 4R module tetrahedron, or now I'm going to call it tetrahedron O. There's M, N, and O. I mentioned just prior the M tetrahedron. Now this is the O tetrahedron or four R modules. It's filling in that valley. That gives us the great dodecahedron. So lastly we have to fill in these valleys. I've been calling these shallow tetrahedron. They're made up of PQR modules and it's rather complex but it can be done and now we have an icosahedron again so I can toggle backwards through this we start with icosahedron there's our great dodecahedron that's model 2 then we had the small stellated pentagonal I mean small stellated dodecahedron that's model number 3 then we have the pentagonal dodecahedron, that's model number four. Then we have the icosa socket, that's model number five. Then we have the uh, great stellated dodecahedron, that's model number six. And then we go back to the icosahedron. It's basically seven stages, let's say, or six, and then it repeats at seven. Thank you.